So I finally sat down and watched the disappearance of Haruhi. For some reason, I never watched the movie after I finished, you know, the seasons of Haruhi, the anime series. I never got around to watching the movie. Even though I heard some great things in these past couple years, I just never watched it. I, like I said, I have no idea why, but I'm glad I sat down and watched it tonight because it was quite the experience. It was a really good experience, and it was a great movie. It really was. Like, I, I can't deny that this is one of the best movies I've seen in recent memory, like one of the best anime movies I've seen in recent memory because just the way the seasons, like the series, the anime series, kind of foreshadowed and hinted at certain aspects of this movie and plot twist was quite shocking. I, I was like, holy shit, I, I was frozen when I saw some of the elements in this movie that was actually foreshadowed from the anime series. And I, I gotta say, I like the writers that actually went further, one step further, and wrote even a deeper plot when it came to the movie of the disappearance of Haruhi. So, this movie, I don't know if this is going to be a review or my thoughts. I, I have no idea what I want to title this video. I just want to express my thoughts about this movie in general. Now, the movie is two hours and 40 to 50 minutes, and that's quite a long watch. I mean, for an average anime movie, that's that's quite long. Usually anime movies only go up to like an hour and a half. That's usually the standard when it comes to anime movies. And to see how the disappearance of Haruhi was two hours in 40 to 50 minutes shocked me because like I sat down not realizing how long the movie was. I got a cup of coffee. I got watching it and I realized I ran out of coffee and like only 30 something minutes passed and I was only like not even a quarter through the movie. I'm like, oh shit. So I had to get up, go get more coffee. I had to stop the movie about three to four times. Not because it was bad, but because I had to go get some coffee. Because it just, just... It was so damn long. I'm like, oh my god. But it was really good, though. The movie was really good. I highly recommend watching this movie if you have seen the anime series of Haruhi. If you haven't seen season one and season two, you have to watch this movie. Like, you, you have to watch this movie because it continues the story past the anime. It's actually, it, it's canon. It continues the story. It doesn't just, you know, say like a what if. Like, it's not a, a spin-off type movie. It's not a recap like majority of anime movies are. Like, usually when it comes to Japan, they love doing recap movies. Like, you know, compressing an entire season of the anime into like a an hour and a half to two hour movie. That's kind of how Japan likes making movies. And this Haruhi movie, The Disappearance of Haruhi, is not a recap. It is not. It's actually a canon movie that continues and extends the series even further and I once again I'm happy to see something like that to see more content to this wonderful series and it actually makes me grow a lot more respect for the series to see how the writing was done in this movie like the writing of the movie it, it's crazy because you would think when a company is writing a series and they are doing well when they write a movie they usually just want to cash grab they want to cash in for some more money and they just want to make the series even more popular and get more money from it but they clearly set up the movie since the very beginning of the series. Like, they knew they were going to be making a movie before they finished the anime because of the way they set it up for the movie. Because there was just so many different plot lines that foreshadowed towards the movie. And even then, at the end of the day, there's more plot lines and plot points set up in the movie that is possible for another season of Haruhi. Now, this goes into an interesting topic. I know that there is a new, you know, Haruhi series coming out. I think it's called The Disappearance of Yuki. And I know that's going to be focusing on Nagato that's, you know, the robot girl or whatever. You know, the alien. And the thing is, is I was told that I have to watch this movie to understand the series that is coming out this anime season. I think the first episode is already out, but it's raw. It's not translated at the moment. I don't know if Crunchyroll or Funimation has picked it up. But we'll, we'll have to see. It might be translated tomorrow. But moving past that point, what I'm getting at is, is to watch this upcoming series, this disappearance of Yuki, you have to see this movie. That's what I've been told. So I, I sat down and watched this movie just to make sure I knew what was going to go down. And judging by the way this movie went, the way it ended, I'm assuming that Nagato is going to disappear. Like, she's going to disappear. It's going to be kind of similar circumstance to what happened in the movie, but it's going to be focusing around Nagato of how she will disappear and how, you know, 
Kyo and our main character has to go around and make everybody remember and try to save her from this organization. And I feel like that's what this upcoming season is going to be about, trying to save her. It's going to kind of be like a reenactment of the movie, but from a different viewpoint in different circumstances. And it's also probably going to settle these plot points that the movie set up, especially with the older adult version of our main male character coming in and saving the day. Like, in the past, when you saw the past and you saw our main character just getting stabbed and shit, and he was dying, you saw this quick scene where you saw two Asahinas, you know, just looking at him, crying above him, and you see this adult-looking version of our main character standing above him, he's like, yeah, it hurt too, it definitely hurt, and you knew instantly who that was, but it wasn't explained why he was there, so the thing is is that's probably going to be a plot point for this upcoming season. It, it's it's definite. That, that's definitely going to happen. The question is, why did he have to go back? I mean, he says he has to go back eventually, but judging by the time, like, he looked like he was old. looked like he was in his 30s or 20s, late 20s. And so, why did he go back at that time? Did something happen? So, clearly something bad is going to happen in the future. I'm looking forward to that. And that's kind of my thoughts on the movie. I mean, the movie had a lot of plot twists. It took me aback and shocked me because... At first, it was easy to predict, but then it started twisting and turning with its different plot threads in the second half, especially with finding out that Nagato was the main cause of the events of how she, you know, changed the entire world, she altered the world, and she needed to be, you know, shot. And she gave our main male character development in a choice if he wants to live in this new world that is, you know, ordinary, doesn't have any supernatural elements, or do you want to live in the world you came from that has all this extraordinary stuff? And so, our main character got a lot of development, massive development, in this movie like it was incredible the steps of development he got in this movie and i'm looking forward to seeing his position as a character in this upcoming season too because he definitely moved up into a lot more respect in my eyes to see how he was willing to become one of the main elites of the sos brigade instead of being you know a side character that didn't give a shit and you just wanted to leave or it was very annoying and to see his new circumstance and viewpoint on this it just goes to show you how much he has changed since the very starting point of the anime. And that's about it. That's about it when it comes to this movie. It was just damn good. Animation quality, fucking great. I just want to say that real quick. Animation quality, oh damn. Hot damn. It was good. Even the CGI. So yeah, I'm ending it here. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. She be out.